Okay, so for this problem, we're asked to calculate the mass of a plate, and we're given a function that's its area density. And then we're given the description of the plate. So the plate is a region above the graph of y equals x squared and below the line y equals 3. Let's go ahead and draw the plate. I'll start with y equals x squared, and let's go ahead and add in y equals 3. So this shaded region is my plate. Now I want to figure out where y equals 3 and y equals x squared intersect. Well, 3 equals x squared, so x is going to be plus or minus the square root of 3. Okay, so negative root 3, 3, and square root of 3, 3. Now I'm ready to integrate my area density. So I'm just going to integrate over this region. Let me go ahead and start by writing my area density function. And then I have to put in my bounds of integration. I want to integrate with respect to y first, because one of the bounds for y is a function of x. So I'll integrate from x squared to 3, since x squared is the bottom function. And then my bounds for x are going to be negative square root of 3 to square root of 3. So dy dx. Let's go ahead and start integrating. So the integral of y with respect to y is going to be 1 half y squared. I'm going to go ahead and pull the 1 half outside of the integral just so I don't have to deal with it until later. And I want to evaluate that from y equals x squared to y equals 3. So let's plug in a 3 first. 3 squared gives me 9. And then minus x squared squared, which gives me x to the fourth. So now I just have to integrate 9 minus x to the fourth with respect to x. So the integral of 9 is going to be 9x, and the integral of x to the fourth is going to be 1 fifth x to the fifth. Let me move over here. So 9x minus 1 fifth x to the fifth, and then I want to evaluate that from x equals negative square root of 3 to the square root of 3. So let's go ahead and start plugging things in. Well, 9 times the square root of 3 is just 9 square roots of 3. And then minus 1 fifth times the square root of 3 to the fifth. Well, the square root of 3 to the fifth is going to be 9 square roots of 3, and then divide by 5. Now let's plug in negative square root of 3. So 9 times negative square root of 3 is just negative 9 square roots of 3. And then just like before, when I plug in negative root 3 for 1 fifth x to the fifth, I'm going to get 9 fifths square root of 3. But here, I have to watch my sign. So I have 6 negative signs total, which is a lot, but it's an even number, so that means I'm going to be adding. So let's combine some things. I have 9 square roots of 3 minus a negative 9 square roots of 3, so 18 root 3. Those two are taken care of. And now I have negative 9 fifths square root of 3 minus 9 fifths square root of 3. 
So negative 18 fifths, square root of 3. So you can let your calculator do the hard work on this one, but I'm going to end up with Thirty-six-fifths square roots of three. So let's think about our units. Area density is given in kilograms per meter squared. So once I integrate over R, I'm left with just kilograms as the units for my answer. So now we know the mass of this plate is 36 over 5 times the square root of 3 kilograms.